Hey YouTube, it's me, Mickey Envy, coming to you from the Magic City of Miami, and I just wanted to come to you with a hair update. I know a lot of people originally subscribed to my channel because of the fact that I was doing hair videos and things like that, so I just wanted to keep you guys updated and abreast on what's going on with this mane of mine. Um, one of the things I think that you guys can notice overall is that my hair is shorter. It is at a, a bit of a curly state right now. It's not as long as it used to be. To be completely honest, I have been cutting it, I have been cutting the ends, and I have not been staying true to a regimen. I haven't. I haven't had time. It just hasn't been in the cards for me to be able to do a wash day, a deep condition, and all the other stuff that I was doing previously. I just don't, I don't do it the way that I used to do it. I, I haven't dedicated myself to it, to it, to be completely honest. And am I gonna dedicate myself to it now? No, but what I am dedicated to is trying to make sure that I maintain the health of my hair to the best of my ability um, with the minimalist amount of maintenance possible. Um, and one of the reasons that that is is because I do go to the gym five days a week now. Um, I go to the gym Monday through Friday and I um, have rest days on my weekend days. Um, and with that, um, I'm one of those people who sweat in their scalp. And because I sweat in my scalp, I do tend to wash my hair. Um, the first, like the first, sec the second week I went to the gym, I washed my hair like three of the four days, three of the five days. Um, but since then, I uh, no, I'm lying. It probably was like the whole week. Um, but since then, I'm not doing it as often because I do have chemicals in my hair. My hair is. I'm not gonna say my hair is um, relaxed, bone straight, as you can tell. It's more of a tech lax. So with it being Texlax and not having as much um, chemical in it or as long as anything, I do get a curl pattern. This is the curl pattern that I do get from just washing my hair. Um, my natural hair, I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't. My natural hair is a combination of different things. It's probably like a 3B some places. If people still go, do people still go by the, the numbers like that? Well. Before I, I stopped um, going on the YouTube, I know there was numbers, and I was, I'm like a 3B in some places, I'm a 3C in some other places, I'm probably like a 4A like at the, at the middle of my crown, and that's basically the way my hair texture is overall. Um, can It could possibly blend with this particular texture in some areas, not overall. Um, so this, the fact that I do put chemicals in it does give me um, a more of a, uniform curl pattern, um, which I like. Am I thinking about, would I go natural right now? Uh, I don't think I would, and I'm gonna put think right now because I don't, I don't think I would go natural. I, I like my hair being able to be straight overall and not have to put as much heat and things like that in it to make it straight. But I also like to have the option to go curly the way it is now. Um, most days, nowadays, I wear it basically like this. Um, and I have a real simplified regimen that I use at the gym. Um, I actually have to get another um, leave-in conditioner, but the conditioners that I've been using or the shampoos that I've been using, I swap them out. I originally used this little um, thing called Hair Trition and it has a couple of things. It has silk amino acids, raspberry es extract, um, flaxseed oil, moringa protein, moringa protein, never heard of it. Um, soybean extract and B, vitamins B5, C, and 3. And it has coconut oil, sunflower seed extract, and UV protectants. It's supposed to help your colors, but I didn't buy it for that. I bought it because it was on sale at Sally's when they have those like 50% off clearance and there was like a whole bunch of these little bottles on clearance. So I used this. Um, actually, what this bottle has in it, it has um, the Suave Clarifying Shampoo. Um, I still use that and I just put it in this little bottle so I don't have to use it all the time. Just to clarify, because of the fact that I, I do sweat in my scalp, so I do wash my hair. Um, now I would say I wash it probably like two times in a week, more or less, depending on how sweaty I get. More, more or less it's two times in a week. And the conditioner that I use is the FOG Two Minute Reconstructor. My hair um, is, a pro, is protein needs protein, so I go ahead and I buy this, and this is the one that I use. Um, before, the conditioner that I was using was the, the Suave, I think it was the Suave. It's the green bottle, and it's supposed to be based off the Veda um, almond, sweet almond, whatever. 
that one. I'm gonna show. You, I'll show you a picture of it. Um, but that's the the conditioner that I was using. But it wasn't strong enough. It, it was moisturizing, yes, but it left my hair feeling mushy. So because my hair was feeling mushy and I washed it so much, I go ahead and I do use an Afoji, my Afoji um, two minute reconstructor. That's what I'm using right now as far as that's concerned. And then I do use. Um, well, I just finished this. This was the Miss Jessie's Transitioner's Magic. Don't don't get it twisted. I'm not transitioning. But um, I did find this on Walgreens on sale for like six dollars. You know, Miss Jessie's products are pretty, 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 a pretty penny, pretty expensive. But I found it for like six dollars, and I went ahead and I tried it. And did I like it? Yes. But this is what it does. It does not necessarily show my hair being moisturized overall. But it does give, it does do this overall. And if you guys can see it, this is the curl pattern that I received with a wash, a detangle, and then a little bit of the Miss Jessie's Transitioner's Magic. Um, uh, what I'm probably gonna go do this weekend is I'm gonna go buy some of that Aunt Jackie's. You know, that's the other version of Miss Jessie's. Um, I did a review on one of her products before. I'm probably gonna go back and buy some of that because I do need another, um, leave-in conditioner to go ahead and put in my gym bag overall. Um, and that's basically what I do. I, I wash, I condition with the Foji, and then I put in a leave-in conditioner. I do te detangle while I am um, in the shower, bottom to top. That's the way I do it. I do wa the w I wash a specific way. I wash the roots, and then I bring it down. And with conditioner, I condition from the bottom up. So that seems to be the best for me. I think that's the best technique because you're, um, you get dirtiest, I get dirtiest here because of the fact that um, I do sweat in my scalp. So that's where I, I focus my washing on. And since the bottom pieces of my hair or the longest parts of my hair are the oldest, they need the most conditioning. So I condition from the bottom up. I do plan on doing another chop. Um, the last time I cut my hair, my husband has a thing with long hair. He acts like he doesn't like this. Um, so I cut it. <laughs> A little bit at a time myself I haven't gone to a hairdresser in order for me to cut it and I probably should but the hairdresser that I have I, I don't see her all the time she goes out she goes to the back to the Dominican Republic a lot and you know I love her but I, I, she goes back to her country a lot so I, I can't see her all the time and I don't have a dedicated person right now so once I get a dedicated person we'll go from there but I'm doing okay and to be honest a lot of the time before, I wasn't doing my hair. I wasn't um, going to the gym and things like that because of my hair. And now I'm past that phase of my life. I've gotten, I've grown more. So I'm not gonna worry about my hair as much as my body. My body means more to me at this point than my hair because I really need to get skinny for the summer. I am working on it. And overall, it's going pretty well. I can't, I can't complain, it's a little bit hard, but I can't complain. But those are the products that I'm using right now as far as my hair is concerned. This is the length of my hair. Let me see if I can turn around. And you guys can see how long it is from the back, how puffy it is. Maybe you guys can see the curl pattern better as far as what's going on. This is what I deal with on a regular basis and things like that. Um, as far as what I do at night, I still put it in a bonnet. Um, to maintain this wave, pretty much what I do is I just take it, break it in two, finger comb it, use coconut oil, because I still love coconut oil. Put coconut oil at the ends, focusing on the ends over, put all over the shaft of my hair focusing on the ends and then I braid it up and then I clip it in the middle and then I put a, a bun in there. What I can tell you is that the middle of my hair is shorter and I know it's because of clipping in general so I need to figure out. I usually move the clip, I don't have it in the middle of my head and I usually move it at night because I get uncomfortable anyway, I'm a flipper. So I move in the middle of the night anyway. So, but the middle of my hair is a little bit shorter. I don't know if you guys can tell. It is a little bit shorter, so because it is a little bit shorter, um, I need to figure out something else so that it doesn't continue to break in that particular spot. Um, other than that, that is the, my hair. That is what I'm doing. It's real simple, because my hair, although I don't want to go bald-headed and I do not want to have short hair, I am not going to go ahead and sacrifice my, um, my 
getting overall fit, my fitness for my hair. That's not where I'm at right now. And that's not what I'm doing. And I'm hoping that's not what you guys are doing right now anyway. I know that we do that, especially in um, the black community, the women, we, we, we tend to stay away from doing our hair overall because, I mean, getting fit overall because of our hair. But I'm past that phase right now. So because I'm past that phase, this is what you're gonna get. This is what they get at work. Sometimes like, I, well, after the, I go to, to the gym before work and when I leave and it's wet, I'm leaving it like that. It's gonna be wet and walking to work with wet hair. And that's it. It dries, once it dries throughout the day that I get this. But yes, I do look like a little bit of a wet dog when I get to work. But after it dries and that, and besides um, with my job, I have my own office. Uh, me and the other girl in my department, there's only two people in our department in this building. There's only two of us, so um, I stay in there. We don't really get bothered. We're, we are, um, we just do our own thing, and it doesn't really bother anybody, and it doesn't bother me. Um, and that's it. Okay. All right. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, rate, subscribe. Bye.